What's up everybody? It's your boy Wes Grant. You're watching Sub Urban Nerd. This is the channel where I get my nerd views on today's nerd news. I also do these things that I call unboxing. Whatever I want. Whatever I want usually tells me unboxing a statue, a figure, of a superhero, a comic book character, anime character, sometimes whatever the hell I just want to show you guys. And if you've never seen one of my unboxings before, I'll just tell you what I do. Normally what I do is I, while I'm unboxing it, I give you the lore or the history of the character that I'm unboxing and include the pictures here and there. So first thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be unboxing, oh and if you haven't seen, this is going to be an unboxing of Dark Knight's Metal. So the last one I checked, I did um, was I believe, what's your name, uh, The Drown, so check that right there. But this, this I've been waiting for a while to come in. This is an unboxing of Dawnbreaker, which is basically Batman with the Green Lantern's power. Now, this story starts in Earth negative 32. And if you guys know about the whole Batman story, his parents die in Crime Alley. And that's where the story begins. But except the difference is, Batman does not cry. In fact, he stands there with anger in his eyes and he looks at the guy while he runs away. And he thinks, and at that moment, he doesn't feel any fear. He doesn't feel nothing. He just feels a void. And he sprints off after the dude. He doesn't just sit there crying like he normally does. He sprints off after the dude. And on his way to it, a Green Lantern ring shows up right in front of him. And it says, uh, basically like congratulations, like, you have been chosen by the Green Lantern Corps. You have shown great prowess in, in, in uh, able to able to overcome all fear, right? So they were like, congratulations, you are now a Green Lantern. So he's like, I don't know what this is, but if it can help me take down this guy, I'm gonna do it. So he shoots off after the guy, right? And he aims at the, the aims and rings at the guy and he says, now kill him. And he says, error. First rule of Green Lantern Corps, non-lethal force. And he's like, what? He's like, kill him. He's like, error. Non-use, willpower, 100%. He looks at the ring and is like, I don't care what you do. I don't care what you say. Just do it and kill him. And he, and the ring goes, error, willpower, 117%. Error, willpower, 181%. Error, <laughs> lethal force enabled. And burns the shit off the guy. I mean, it kills him completely I don't know if it's using some radiation or if it's using some uh, I don't know even know but it's a Green Lantern ring just pouring on its energy and melting the guy's skin off like uh, I say if you if you guys have seen Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw like uh, a silk kimono off so off like, like pulling the silk kimono off in a hurricane that's pretty much the analogy I heard but anyways well this is nice this is really nice but anyways so, the ring grants him his power. And then after that, he pretty much, uh, you see like a jump in time. And, but no, no, not every. He actually, the first thing he tries to do is he tries to bring back his parents with the Green Lantern ring. Because he figures the ring, Green Lantern ring can do anything. But it can't. It just manipulates their dead body. And he, he, it isn't what he wanted. So he goes, and he's just, he almost doesn't, he would give up the ring if he could just to get his parents back. But not happen. So time jumps. And you see Bruce uh, killing uh, the bad guys. He basically takes the abilities and he's killing the bad guys. He goes and he kills the Scarecrow. And um, his reasoning is, why do they get to run around and live meanwhile my parents die? No, that ain't happening. So he goes and he kills Scarecrow. He goes and shows up to the, the what was it, the um, Penguin's lair and straight up just... He goes, drops in, he says, ring, enable, blackout mode. And I'm going to show you this thing right now. It all comes in one piece. This is a gallery by DC. Gallery actually has their own brand or whatever, and they have a lot of people. I have the other three, whatever, you check it out, my playlist, whatever I try to make. But, um, yeah, they, they do dioramas, and I love their dioramas. And this one, they, there's a bunch of, di there's just another Batman uh, Dawnbreaker, but... It looks like a zombie, and I don't like it. This is one of the comics when he's kicking everyone's ass. This is the way it looks. So meanwhile, I'm gonna show you. Meanwhile, I turn. So just uh, take a quick look at this. 
Oh, check out that detail, man. Ugh, I love it so much. Green Lantern ring, you can see that it's got that power shooting right there. You can see the visor. This is how this is how Batman with the Green Lantern, the Dawnbreaker. This is how he looks. Now I go back into the story. He drops in with the with the with the power of the Green Lantern into the Penguin's hideout, and he says, "Enable blackout," and the whole place goes black, and everybody starts screaming. You hear things getting ripped apart, and then you see Batman or Dawnbreaker shooting up into the sky, and he takes Penguin and leaves him in the atmosphere, right in the direction of a of a meteor shower, and Penguin gets ripped apart. He, uh, Batman lands back on the ground on the roof. Meanwhile, the Commissioner Gordon notices all these bad guys going missing. So he shows up. He's like, "Yo, I don't, I can't, I can't stand. Well, what have you done with all the bad guys? We can't let you just keep doing this. Someone has to stand up to you." And then Batman says, "It's a shame. Your daughter will have to grow up without a father." He's like, "What?" And she have to grow up alone. And he's like, "What?" And he basically turns around and burns the, sh burns it, burns it to a crisp. Nothing left of Jim Gordon. I'm like, "Damn!" Like. Batman has no chill right now at this point. So and then the Green Lantern Corps shows up, and they were like, um, "You have, you violated the rules of the Green Lantern Corps. Come let's, quietly." And he's like, "Oh, really? Ring, activate blackout mode, and you see all these monsters come out of this void and literally decimate the Green Lantern Corps. All, everybody gets decimated. They, they go, even uh, the, the elders." The Green Lantern Corps and the Elders, they get decimated to the point where one's left, and then he's crawling. And when he's crawling over there, uh, he says, you can't do this. You're letting, the, you're letting the void into the ring. You're letting the black darkness into the ring. And he gets his head just ripped off. When after that happens, the, the, his power just starts um, going crazy, and the void starts expanding and sucking everything and taking the world in. And then that's when, you know, the Batman who laughed shows up with... The Red Death and man, um, uh, was the murder machine right behind him. He's like, you know, he gives him the same speech. He gives all of them like, no, your world is dying. Uh, you want to go to a world where your parents uh, like might still be alive? Or you want to go to a world where everything's better? Where you just live a better life and everybody, all the good things happen in this positive world? We're getting screwed in this negative world. Come to the positive world. He's like, all right. So he shows up in Coast City and he starts wrecking shit. And he's like, activate. Blackout. But right before he does that, Hal, Hal Jordan shows up. He's like, whoa, 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 partner. You need to slow your roll. And then he's like, me? Really? Okay. And he activates the blackout. And Hal Jordan can't do shit about it. The ring's like, uh, cannot com comprehend. It doesn't know what the stuff is. So it can't do nothing and gets it. And right as he's getting swallowed, guess who shows up? You know it. Dr. Fate. Dr. Fate shows up and grabs him in the nick of time like he's been doing with all the others. And that's pretty much how the story ends. Dawnbreaker, if and, and when he shows up and when he turns, after after like after he had decimated the the whole crew of the Green Lantern Corps, that's when he took the name and he came up with a saying. He was like, "In dark, in darkest black, I." Hold on, I'm trying to remember. In darkest black, I take the night. No brightest day escapes my sight. I turn dawn into midnight. Beware my power, dawn breakers might. And that's his saying for the Green Lantern. If, like, I think I might have messed up on one word, but that's pretty much it. And so just check that out. And hopefully you guys like this. This is Dawnbreaker. This is, uh, you know, the panorama, like the diorama, my bad, of, of the... M m m of all the creatures, the bats, and all the creatures that he turns actually into the thing. This is his outfit. Check it out. Like it. Observe it. He looks badass. Can't wait to have him join. I would definitely join. He's still muscular like Batman, but he's got this thing. Oh my god, this looks so awesome. So, that's pretty much it. I don't know if they have Dawnbreaker. Right here. This is I don't know. I don't know if this is better. You guys tell me which which pose is a little bit better. You got this one. You got this one. This one. I don't know which one you guys think is better because this ring is awesome. Definitely awesome. So hopefully 
you guys like this review, like the way I do this thing, and uh, remember to like, comment down below, tell me what you think about this, and remember, you know, share this video. So also, thank you, I'm Wes Grant, uh, check, subscribe, check out my last uh, unboxing of the Dark Knights Metal, check out my playlist of the unboxing, and remember, I'm Wes Grant, you've been watching Sub Urban Nerd, and you've just been nerd if I catch you guys on the next review, or um, unboxing.